Monsters Among Us By Gordon Dove, Senior Editor for Veterans Today Yesterday, I spoke with two individuals who see themselves as cutting edge in activism, alternative medicine, you know what I am getting at. What was shocking to me is how little they paid attention, how little they knew, how little effort they and so many others make at all. Despite the Fox News and Alex Jones controlled fear porn industry, the truth is out there. VT puts it there daily, has been for years, and has a large worldwide audience. YouTube, Veterans Today. Today I want to cite two security threats above all, Google and Wikipedia. It would be oversimplistic to call them CIA or Mossad fronts, they are quite worse than that. Whoever owns or manages these organizations, they were created, at the outset, by groups within the United States Army Intelligence at the Presidio, groups long tied to the systematic control of all world media. In fact, between bribes and blackmail, every major media figure in the world is an intelligence asset. The only time red line subjects are mentioned, it is as a buy-in to control dialogue and derail what is deemed by the secret world government, and there very much is such a thing, any move that might threaten common mythology. Saying that everything everyone knows is a lie is a pretty good generalization. I spent much of the last five months having physicists explain how universities turn out flat earth scientists, teach theories long debunked, how papers from the early 20th century are still classified and how many commonly accepted physical laws are fairy tales. This month's Nexus magazine has an article by a VT editor and particle physicist on anti-gravity and magnetic buoyancy. Every science textbook since 1945 has been an embarrassing fiction. This is why VT, over the past few months, has put out an educational series intended only for scientists, making available previously classified finds that, we hope, will help some of them become useful and productive members of society as opposed to rumor-mongering witch doctors. What has pushed me to jot these few things down today is a minor delve into Wikipedia. I had done some jesting with Chris Ballin over the early part of the summer over issues of the validity of source materials. As someone who works in intelligence, I operate under different rules than a journalist. The back and forth ended up including Dr. Stephen Jones, Richard Gage, and others. In the end, it was not a useful interchange and nothing of value was learned, not by me anyway, quite the opposite, but that's not important now. Balin used to work for the American Free Press. By VT standards, the AFP is a mild-mannered publication with moderate views and an aspect of editorial freedom. I also recognize, among its contributors, a number of what I believe to be paid controlled opposition. When I say a number, this is as opposed to all four other publications. When I looked on Wikipedia to see if they had any legitimate background on the AFP, as Wikipedia at times can be brilliant, I found smears, cheap propaganda and garbage. I have been a registered Wikipedia editor since the beginning. I had seen, in sensitive areas, Wikipedia's convoluted and highly secretive back room turn into a pure propaganda machine. I have been in several wiki wars over the years. One involved former congressman and UN ambassador Mark Ziljander. Mark had been arrested in order to silence him on his opposition to the Bush war in Iraq. The government had invented insane charges against him, pulled them out of thin air. Then the United States Attorney Office in St. Louis submitted a wildly inaccurate wiki entry, Total Lies Meant to Vilify Siljander. I edited it out. They redid it. This went on for weeks, with me winning out. Well, across Wikipedia, there is one overriding theme. Wikipedia is about all things Israeli and all things Zionist. This isn't just an Israeli propaganda effort to justify their genocide or involvement in world organized crime. The, the United States Army is working with them as well, the gang at Fort Huachuca, Arizona, and those that used to be at the Presidio, the Signals Commands, the Psychological Warfare Groups, and dozens of illegally funded retiree and contractor groups that, when they aren't releasing influenza or low-level sarin gas on New York's subway system, which they have been caught doing, they help produce episodes of Bones and Homeland or NCIS Los Angeles and dozens of other television dramas or arrange for automobile accidents like the one that killed Michael Hastings. Are you aware that when Julian Assange turned hundreds of thousands of documents over to the New York Times, that organization called the Mossad to send teams to edit what could be published? When Zbigniew Brzezinski said WikiLeaks was run by an intelligence agency, December 3, 2010 on NPR with Judy Woodruff, this is only part of what he meant. Similarly, Edward Snowden's real intelligence has little to do with the chicken feed we have seen so far. I have seen his real material, sent to me by Russian intelligence sources. 
It names some of the most powerful people in Washington as having organized terror attacks inside the, the United States. There is nothing about spying on Germany. We see names like Cameron and Netanyahu tied to nuclear proliferation issues that, in any normal world would lead to prosecution. None of the real material was ever printed though released. It was withheld from the public for their own good as it would have destroyed the public's faith in elected officials to find that Al-Qaeda is an intelligence operation, not a terrorist group. Wikipedia exists, run by the United States Army psychological warfare groups working closely with Israel, as a way of controlling thought and suppressing information. It is an embarrassment, childish, monstrous, and fully complicit in war crimes. Wikipedia was used to prestige the genocide in Gaza, justifies political murders and blames state terrorism on imaginary organizations. Here is the rub, the attacks on Twitter and Facebook are nothing but deflections from Google and Wikipedia, far more dangerous organizations. Google actually has its own mercenary organization operating across the Middle East. Google runs counter-terrorism groups, armed teams inside Syria, Iran, Turkey, Israel, Jordan, Iraq, and Georgia. They are believed to be involved in the recent gas attacks against the Kurds, germ warfare, car bombings, and political assassinations in Iran. Moreover, Google itself is a massive organization, long infiltrated and controlled. The Google search engine, which literally controls all access to information online, steers researchers to sock puppet websites that carry carefully crafted smears and propaganda. Articles of lasting value, major leaks, are wiped clean. Entire events are scrubbed from Google every day. Google has made sure that the Internet is, if anything, more obnoxious than television. Google also assures that the Internet is all about Israel. Yesterday, nearly the entire British Parliament rebuked Israel. This wasn't about Gaza and the genocide there, the bombings of UN schools and the murder of children. The relationship between Israel and ISIS is inescapable. They are one and the same, a world-class PSYOP using media, the United States Army psychological warfare personnel and that very nasty secret world government. Google News will keep fingers pointed the wrong way, almost as badly as the shameful Pentagon early bird has done for years, keeping the military barefoot and pregnant so to speak. A war is upon us now. Our enemies are Wikipedia and Google. Let's name them as what they are, they may be the only real enemy we stand a chance of destroying. Facebook infiltration is a joke. Who needs the NSA when Google reads every email, every search, and builds a psychological profile of every human being? As for Wikipedia, it simply needs to go away. The shame, of course, is the hard work thousands of decent people have put into that propaganda rat hole. Wikipedia is filth of the most despicable kind. You see, this is what killed America, our attraction to filth, to malicious gossip and those that recognize how weak and ignorant people are attracted to dirty laundering.